Welcome to Flat Out Elected. I'm Rand Campbell. I'm going to play a video by a YouTube creator by the name of Adam1414. He breaks down the word NASA beautifully. He does the entire Hebrew understanding of what is going on with this NASA. Watch this video. I'll come back and do a quick wisdom rant at the end of the video. Isn't that enlightening, for the lack of a more accurate word? In, in my opinion, it should wake up the, the sheeple. 
but we'll see what happens. I mean, you don't really have to go any further than NASA and their website and look at their videos. Just just Google NASA live feeds on YouTube. I mean, aye, aye, aye. It, it is really just as simple as looking at their videos, looking at their pictures, and you can see clear as day they are deceiving, literally deceiving humanity. And, you know, it's, it's now at a point where, in my opinion, it's become so blatant that you would have to be a fool to not see it. Now, the truth of the matter is this, is that, you know, 15 years ago, there was a handful of people in the truth community. There was a handful of people that had begun the process of waking up. Five years ago, you could have counted on both hands the amount of people that probably were awakened to flat earth. Those numbers have drastically changed. You know, the truth and, and, and flat earth and, and, you know, coming to an, an awareness of these deceptions is growing. People are waking up by the boatloads. It's incredible. But watch this truth I'm going to lay down. So we know that a few years back, very few people understood, believed, or had even researched flat earth. A few years ago, most of us still believed in the globe. We were still heliocentric fools. But that has changed. And here, here's something that is very important to understand. They call us conspiracy nuts. In other words, you are crazy to believe the earth is flat. You're absolutely insane. I can't even begin to tell you the looks on people's faces. I'm sure most of you guys have seen it, where they look at you like you're a little bit mentally ill. How dare you believe we're on a flat earth? Are you crazy? <laughs> and the truth of the matter is, is that that's the consensus on anybody that believes flat earth that hasn't done the research. If you've never done the research then yeah, you're going to think somebody that's a flat earther is absolutely off their rock and they've lost their minds if they even had one to begin with. But now, where there was just a few, there are many, 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 many. So here's the problem that the deceivers have. Here's the problem that those still in the boat of deception have. If in fact, coming to know flat earth and leaving the heliocentric model under the belief that it's an absolute line of deception, if in fact that is the act of a mental illness, then for the first time in the history of this world, we have an epidemic. See, there can only be one of two things here. We, we either have an epidemic in that there is a contagious, because where there were few, now there are many. We have a contagious mental disease. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, now, now you can catch this mental disorder. Apparently, you could have been sane a year or two ago when you were a heliocentric fool, but if you now believe in flat earth, then you have caught the disease of flat earth, which is a mental disorder. So this is the epidemic that these people find themselves in. Either there is a contagious mental disorder sweeping the earth, and, and it's sweeping the earth, make no mistake about it, you're going to have to let this sink in a minute, but where there were few, there are now many who have caught this mental disease of flat earth. This, this crazy, crazy contagious is contagious because people are catching it. It's not like just insane people that were already insane in mental institutions are flat earthers. No, we've got engineers, we've got doctors, we've got pilots, we've got business people, we've got students. 
We got educated people. We got really, really good people. We got Christians who know their Bibles. We've got intelligent people who have caught this unimaginable, contagious mental disorder. <laughs> but, but here's where it gets crazy. So the government knows that this contagious mental disorder is sweeping the earth. People are catching it all over the place. I don't know if you catch it by a sneeze. I don't know if like you walk by a flat earth and he sneezes and then you catch it like a virus. I don't know if it's, you know, maybe through a handshake or I don't think it's, it's actually transmitted. But I'm, I'm pretty certain that they got a, an idea as to how this contagious mental disorder of flat earth is, is happening. <laughs> they got to know. I mean, they're they're the smart ones, right? They're 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 all intelligent. So they got to know how this is happening. But but here's the problem. They're not doing anything about it. Their cure, their cure is to mock, insult, and ridicule. Now, isn't that kind of considered disgusting by even the worst of humanity that they would make fun of somebody with a, with a mental disorder? That they would mock somebody that had a mental disorder? Wouldn't that be considered horrible? Wouldn't that make you a horrible person if you were going to you know, sit there and insult, mock, and, and, and point fingers at and, and ridicule somebody with a mental disorder. Because that's what they're claiming. They're claiming that flat earthers have a mental disorder. We know it to be contagious because people are catching it. So, so why are they mocking and insulting as a cure? How is that the cure? Well, I'll tell you why that's the cure. Because it isn't a mental disorder. It's a truth. It's an awakening. And they know it. I'll make no mistake about it. You're gonna, you're you're gonna see, if you look, you're gonna see that they know we know, absolutely 100% for sure. This is why they're mocking and insulting. Because let me explain something to you. You know, if if a wife suspects her husband of cheating on her, she's gonna start looking for little bits of evidence. She's gonna you know check his cell phone for text messages, whether or not you know messages are being deleted she might even go so far as to you know smell his clothes she's going to check his time see if there's any inconsistencies in his regularities as to you know how he used to come home at 10 o'clock at night now he's coming home at 12 31 in the morning she's going to start looking for little evidences and as she starts to accumulate these evidences that make her suspicious to the point of almost knowing for sure her husband is cheating She's going to start to confront him. And the very first thing he's going to say is, are you crazy? Are you crazy? Why would I cheat? Are you, you're losing your mind. You're a nutcase. You need to go to the mental institution. I need to get you to a psychiatrist. You're losing your mind. Because that's exactly what happens when people get confronted with truth, with the truth that they're trying to hide. So no, it's not a mental disorder to come to flat earth or to come to any truth. It's an awakening. And they know it. And their best weapon against it is to try to make people that are waking up seem crazy. You understand? So that's 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 the problem. Now now the the flip side is is that we we know the truth. And the only cure for truth is truth. There's no they can't stop this truth. This truth is is is, is awake, alive and growing. Like I said in Daniel 4.11, this, this truth is reaching God and the branches are reaching to the ends of the earth. They, they thought they could bury this truth, but they didn't realize it was a seed. And the seed took root. And the fertilizer was the deception. Their, 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 their fertilizer that they didn't know was fertilizer was the deception. God takes what is foolish and makes it wise. God takes what they think is wise and he's going to make them look like fools. And you're a part of this. This is exactly what's happening. Is, is God is in that exact moment in scripture where he takes what is foolish and makes it wise. Because it seems foolish to believe in flat earth. It seems foolish to think that 9-11 was an inside job. It seems foolish to think that those chemtrails aren't what they say they are. It seems foolish to not want to take vaccines. It seems foolish to think that there is Satanism at the highest levels of this system that we are all in prison to. It seems foolish. But you make no mistake about it. You mark my words. I know God. And God will take 
what is wise and make it foolish. And he will take what is foolish and he's about to make it wise. You hang in there. You stay on this. You stay strong. It's okay. You're going to lose some friends along the way. There is no battle ever fought where you don't lose people. You live this life, you're going to lose people. This truth, people are going to drop off like flies. People are going to walk away from you. People are going to shake their heads. People are going to want to not talk to you. That's okay. That's okay. They think you're a fool. God is going to make you wisdom. You are going to be the wisdom that sets these fools straight. God bless you guys. You guys take care of yourselves. If you guys like these videos, if you like these discussions, sub the channel, share the videos, hit that like button, hit the bell so you can get some updates. I'm going to be back doing some live feeds. I think they're, they've got me shut down until April. Aye, aye, aye. At any rate, I love you guys. Thank you for watching these videos. I hope you guys get edified here, and I hope you guys feel the love. I say everything in truth, and I say it in love, because the only truth worth having is the truth is given in love, and the only love worth having is love given in truth. God bless you guys. You guys take care of yourselves.